Hello, welcome to News Update. A South African biotech firm, Afrigen, based in Cape Town, said on Thursday that it has produced the first mRNA COVID vaccine made in Africa, adding that it will be ready for clinical trials in November. The firm is backed by the World Health Organization and the COVAX initiative to tweak Moderna's shot. 19 persons have been confirmed dead while two others sustained injuries in a fatal motor accident which occurred on Thursday along the damaturu Putiskum Road in Yobe State. Governor of Borno State, Babagana Zulum, has distributed 610 taxis, tricycles and buses to 3,200 unemployed youths. This is to enhance urban mass transportation in Maiduguri and parts of Jiri and Kunduga local government areas of the state. The Kaduna State Commissioner for Health, Dr. Amina Mohamed Balumi, on Thursday said cholera killed about 175 residents across the 23 local government areas of the state in 2021. The commissioner disclosed this while receiving cholera testing equipment donated by the World Health Organization to Kaduna State. Governor of Lagos State Babajide Somolu on Thursday assured Nigerians and foreigners that the state is open to more businesses and investment opportunities. Lagos State government has revealed that its mobile court prosecuted 100 and Lagos State Government has revealed that its mobile court prosecuted 1,120 motorists for driving against traffic in 2021. This was disclosed by the coordinator of Lagos State Mobile Court, Mrs. Amiola Ogbara Banjoko, on Thursday. The Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Abiodun Alabi, has called for continued partnership from corporate and private citizens to improve the security of lives and property and boost welfare of security personnel in the state. And that's the news update. You can get more from TSTV Network. Using the details currently showing on your screen.